We got us another gun review today. That's right, motherfuckers. Target's up in my sight. I'm throwing some lead on down that pipe. Bullets fly, inhale the smoke. We shoot these guns, it ain't no joke. If you're looking for some gun information, well, you stop at the right place. There ain't no need to look any further. The Whiskey Drinkers, we got your back, buddy. Whiskey Drinkers, gun review. Pistol Whiskey This here's Jim Bob McLean. And this here's Glenn. And we are the Whiskey Drinkers. That's right. Now, you might be wondering what you're doing here today. Well, that's yep. pretty simple. We're uh, doing another gun review for you. Yep. Well, what do we got for him, Jim Bob? Oh, now? man. You we, remember what it's called? I remember that it's against two different guns, right? Not really. Not really? Not oh, really. we're just showing off the one. Just showing the, the hitting power. Well, I know it's a 45. You know it's a 45? Oh, I think I know that it uh, maybe or it comes from the desert. It might come from the desert. Wow. It might be a patriotic gun. Dude. It could be. That would be right here, the Desert Eagle 45. Oh, yeah, yeah. just like in the movies. That's right. Now, this son of a bitch right here is a bad man jam. It is. Whoops. I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> oh, well, good thing we ejected the clip and there was nothing in it yeah. or else hell. We might have just shot a hole in the cylinder. Yeah, right that just goes so Don't, do don't that. play with your guns. That's right. Loaded. Yeah, make sure they're unloaded before you play with them. Yep. Now, right here it is, Desert Eagle 45. This is a 1911 style G. I don't know what that means. Uh, gamma, maybe? Maybe. Probably. 1911 G. That's the Magnum Research Inc. in Pillager uh, MM. Hmm. Minnesota? Sure. Mass yeah. Massachusetts. Probably Minnesota. Probably, it probably stands for, G stands for gangster. My so stands for gangster. Massachusetts. That's, so, you, so you hold it like out when you're gangsters. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Is. All right. So here it is. This is the Desert Eagle 1911G 45 caliber. Bad song bitch right here. That is. That's a woman right there. That's not a man. That right is there. A, that's you, a sexy, that's a, beautiful woman. This is one you make love to. Now, this is the way it came straight out of the box. Brand new. Uh, it's got the wood grain grip thingies there. Sleek. Which are easily you can take them out and get rid of. But they, why would you? Because they are pretty damn They sleek. look good. Got a little extra oil on the trigger in there. But you can see right there it says Desert Eagle. Now, a lot of people want to know, why don't you get the 50 cal? Yeah, I didn't even know they made a fucking OG, a 50 cal. Yeah, oh, shit. Desert Eagle 50 cal. Ooh. Actually, that existed long before the 40 Wow. Cal. I think they have a 40 and maybe a 9. I never shot me a 50 cal I'm handgun. Sure. Holy shit. So... Well, here's the reason. My hands, I have regular size hands. Yeah. I've held one of the 50s, and I can't even hold a damn thing. It's huge. So if that thing wow. went off, it would come back crack between the eyes. I'd be dead and laying there on the ground in the middle of the ridge. Definitely. So I definitely don't want one of those. Got to know your limits. Not You know, big is, isn't always good. And here's the other thing. A 50 cal, you're talking like 40 bucks for a box oh, of shells. Oh, Jesus, yeah. The 45, you can pick them up online at uh, different stores. Different places. For about 15 bucks. Wow, that is a huge rounds. price difference so, right there. Wow. Right there, I'm going to go with the 45, not spend an arm or a leg. Not, I not, agree with you. Not break or rob the bank, if you will. I agree with you. And uh, yeah, way well, I can go out and play with it. Yeah. Because if you ask, you, you got to go play with it. You got to play with it. Yeah, play with it so, all day. Now, Jim Bob mentioned that there was another caliber today. And the reason yeah. there was another caliber is because. Wanted to show the stopping power of the 45 versus versus the nine millimeter. Yeah, because the nine millimeter is pretty common. I think when people got to get guns and stuff, they're like, "Give me that nine millimeter." You know, that's not right. a lot of people jump up to the dirty, hairy 45. Now, right here is the 45, and it's kind of hard to see, but we'll put a picture up so you can see it. That's a 45, and yeah, it's short and stubby, gets the job done. That's right. This is the nine millimeter. As you can tell, it's almost the same height. Yeah. But it doesn't I mean, have near the gut. Fucking tiny. Yeah. That is uh, an adolescent teenage man going in to become yeah. a man. And yeah. this is what he ends up with. That's right. His balls are just dropping. Yeah. You see, it doesn't really get any longer. It just gets bigger around. Yeah. 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 Kind of like your gut. <laughs> yeah. Now, let's say, too, these bullets, I mean, not only do you have a large bullet right there, um, larger bullet, but you also have a larger capacity of... Uh, the powder. Powder. Oh, yeah. Now, the other difference... That needs to be mentioned here is the 45 is 230 grain. Yeah. Whereas nine millimeter is only 115. Wow. So huge difference. Yeah, you're getting almost twice the weight. 
Yeah. Because the grain is, in fact, the weight of the bullet itself. Damn. So you're getting almost twice the weight in roughly the same capacity yeah. size. Yeah, roughly the same. In the same size gun, too. So. Pretty amazing. So what we did is we went out and we shot both of them at yep. the same targets to show you what the hell it's going to look like. Oh, yeah. So let's show them that footage yeah. of, the in, of the stopping power. Let's roll that shit. Hell yeah. Now let's use the impact test with the Desert Eagle 45. Ready? Yep. Impact, nine millimeter. Just like in the movies. Right. Cantaloupe, 45 Desert Eagle. Took its head right off. Put another one through it. That's better. Oh, that's nice. Just like the movies. Just like in the movies. Cantaloupe, nine millimeter. All right. Holy shit. Just like the movies. Forty-five Desert Eagle. Paint can. Well. Not really a paint can, more of a uh, body putty can, but see what happens. All right. Just like the movies. Wow, holy shit, right here, all I can smell is body putty. Bam, bam, right there in the car. That's it. On top, and bam, right there. So three shots, look at those exit wounds. Holy shit, that's not gonna be a good day if you get hit by this thing. Nah. And that's a 45. So let's put it back down and see what the 9mm does to it. Let's do it. I fucking cut myself again. God damn it. Bob always cuts himself. <laughs> now I'm pretty sure that the 9mm is going to go through it without a problem. That's not an issue. But I have a feeling that the holes ain't going to be as big. So let's get to it. I fucking cut myself again. <laughs> let's get to it. Jeez, Jim Bob. God damn. You ready? Yep. All right. Here we go. All right. Yeah, one more. I feel better. <laughs> All right. Well, the take those off. Uh, the first three holes, bam, bam, bam. This time you got bam, 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 bam. Well, I had an extra one, so I figured I might as well use it. Now those holes do look a little smaller. Yeah, they're definitely a little smaller. And compare the exit wound right there to the exit wound right here. That's yeah, the 45. Yeah. yeah, the 45 definitely did a number. The nine millimeter. I mean, it's like a. Like a Sharpie marker, maybe? Yeah. And the 45 is more like a paintbrush. The goddamn. More yeah. like a fucking baseball. Shit. Well, there she has it. All right. All right, now after a good day of shooting, well, there's only one thing left to do. And that is to have yourself a little lunch. So take that right there. And it's all good. Ain't nothing better than a fruit that's been opened up by a damn gun by a pistol. Round. All right. Well, I'm going to go get my lunch now. Oh, yeah. Well, we're back. Oh, and yeah. I got to tell you, that thing is a dream to shoot. Wow, that, yeah. And this footage was cool as fuck. It's like a Cadillac. Yeah. Um, price wise, I don't remember. We'll put it up on the screen whenever we give you the details about the gun. But uh, it's it's comparable to the Springfield, I would say. Because that yeah. Springfield to me was just like the most comfortable gun I've ever shot. Yeah. So like I would say this is comparable. Yeah, well, I would have to say that I can't say because he wouldn't let me fucking shoot it again. I ain't because stupid. he don't let me shoot these nice guns. Jim Bob cut himself on a target. Why would I let him use a gun? Uh, yeah, well, you know. So, All right. I but, agree with you. And as you can see, we have this beautiful Desert Eagle propped up with a beautiful bottle of Military Special. That's right, sour mash. So, in case you're wondering why I use that bottle, well. Because it makes sense, right? Is this gun, what's the history because of this gun? Because that's an officer's gun. That's really. what I thought. That's what it basically boils down to. I want to say, too, real quick, this gun, the design of it, like I was saying earlier, you know, we are saying, why the fuck would you get new hand grips for it? Because this thing has a look to it. It's you know what I mean? True. It does. It just has that um, World War Two yeah. military... Oh, yeah. Like, like Green Beret jumping yeah. out of a fucking tree on your ass. Type like, of the only thing it. that would go better with... Uh, 
with the 1911, the Desert Eagle 1911, it's probably your USMC K oh, bar. Wow. Now, is that I mean, thing one of those cheap ripoffs? Oh, no, this is the real deal. Wow. As you can see, they even look like they're just the ergonomics of it. It's yeah. not going to stand there, but it looks like it should be there. It does. Uh, those two are a pair. Like when right. you go into you know, these green berets, you're like, here you go, and here you go. Yeah. And uh, what he does with that knife at night. not the green berets, Jim Bob. This is the USMC. Oh, yes, yeah, so it's Marine Corps. What he does at night is he takes one of these bullets and he takes that knife and he chops an X into it. That's right. And then, that way, and then he swallows one of them with yeah. a shot of whiskey, just like in the crow. That's right. All right. Well, that's what I do. Yep. So the impact power is obvious. I wow. Mean, you can't. It's hard to explain. It's hard to really show you without like ballistics, Joe. Well, you want me to? You want yeah, you can show me this thing. But that, definitely, the nine millimeter has to, uh, has a little less stopping power. Um, no. The weight difference is definitely where it's at. Right here, you can see. We'll put it up in a picture or something. But right there, you can see. Um, and you can even see on the fucking back right oh, there. Oh, yeah. Hell, I didn't notice that. That right there is from the 45. And where was the 9 millimeter? Right beside right it. Right there. Yep. Right there. It looks like a little baby hit it. That's right. And there's even but a mark on the, the back. The back is what's showing. Now, get yeah. a side profile. See how thick that steel is. You can see that. Oh, yeah. That's pretty thick. That is, uh, it's what do they call that there? Uh, ballistic steel. Oh, yeah. I think they call it. Something like that. So, I mean, it's made to take the impact of a high caliber you know, pistol. Now, the 45 gives a little wart sticking out. I and, noticed it, yeah. And the uh, 9mm, it, it's just scraped the paint up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's about all it did. Pretty fucking crazy. But that's what it did right there. Uh, How about those cantaloupes, though? The cantaloupes. The cantaloupes were pretty Woo. impressive. Man, the first shot from this son of a bitch. Um, took its head right off. Took its head right he off. scalped it. And it was, then he shot one right in the fucking middle, and it just split that fucker. I mean, the damage it did to that thing was a little scary. Yeah, I mean, and now imagine if that was your chest. It oh blew your back out. And it'd split you all up and then you'd crack apart. Yeah, and you guess it'd just fall right out of you. Wow. And, and the 9mm, it more of kind of like just slashed holes through it. Yeah, put holes That's in it. That's all it does, puts holes apart. in you. This will blow your back out. It will. It really will. Holy shit. <laughs> you know what else will blow your back out? Well, not your back out. But yeah, but probably, yeah, hopefully. I mean, not that I ever want to blow anybody's back out. But, but what would out. also blow your back out? I don't uh, know. Anyway, so that is it. That is the uh, Desert Eagle 45. Yeah. Let's uh, let's get to I'm tired of talking about it. I'm going to go shoot it some more. Let's uh, show them the facts and be on our way. Yeah, we'll drink a little more of this and God drink All right. All right. Yes. You get that? Let's go. Let's go. Hell yeah. Just like the movies. What we got here is the Desert Eagle 1911 G. Oh yeah, the model number is DE1911G. The action? It's single. The caliber is a 45 ACP. It's got an 8 round capacity. Barrel length is 5.01 inches. The overall length is 8.63 inches. The slide width is 1.28 inches. The height of this bastard is 5.25 inches. And the weight is weighing in at 36.2 ounces. Now it's got a matte black finish. That's pretty nice and the grip is wooden. The sides, high profile sculpture rear sight, drift adjustable for windage, dovetail front side blade with the horizontal serrations. Wow, the trigger pull is 3.4 pounds. And the magazines, you can get two to eight rounds. Damn. 